Good day, folks. People wanted some examples to uh, what I talked about in my last video regarding true potentials. And here I've got the battery and my inverter, and the inverter feeds a microwave transformer. Now one wire system, the two diodes feeding a high voltage capacitor here. All this is one wire feeding the capacitor, and that goes up and it goes through this special coil configuration I have here. So this was for something else, but I repurposed it because it works very well for this here. So what I have is I have the um, positive side of the capacitor going in through the coil here. There's actually an L1 and L2 here that this is kind of takes care of the high frequency. Anyways, um, what happens is I then have the big loop here on the top and I coupled the two, the small and the big right here in the middle. That would be the equivalent of my center tab here. And on this side here, it goes to the meter. And on the um, negative side of the capacitor is the other meter. So I'm gonna, it's off right now. It's set to 50 volts DC. And I'm gonna show you what happens when we turn on this inverter here, okay? So now you can hear it. So we're gonna look at the voltage and it's not very much and I'm gonna show you, but it's still there, okay? So we're getting at the 50 volts, we're getting about 20 volts, okay? Now I'll show you what happens here when we put in the ground, because we're dealing with real potential differences. So you really need a good ground. So I've got a ground wire here and I'm gonna show you the center tap here where we change the difference, what's that gonna do to the meter, okay? So not only, this is very high voltage, we could spark gap this, by the way, see? I'm just trying to show you here. It's hard on the, but you see it there, the spark. So a spark gap assembly here would be ideal, but just to show you real quick, I'm gonna put it direct, and we're gonna look at the voltage here. I said it was around 20, I'm gonna put it on look how quick it jumps see what that does just with the because I'm, I'm touching it here and it almost takes it off the scale almost 50 volts here now what's interesting with this I'm gonna leave it there is this system is hybrid we've got a DC potential and an AC so look what happens when we flick on AC. We've got a lot of AC here. That's on the AC side. Just because we connected the ground here. So I'm connected to 250 AC, so I'm getting over 100 and... About 150... A little more than that, actually. Maybe 175 volts AC now coming in plus the DC side, which is at over now 50 volts, well close to. So that's where you're getting this spark gap here when I separate the ground. Now if you want to run a load, you'd want to have it between the spark gap because that's, that's where your amps of seconds and the high frequencies are mixing up and creating those harmonics. But just to show you quickly the effect here real quick, because I wanted to show you how you could drive all these systems with the one wire system with slight modifications. We could reuse all of the old concepts and make them better using the one wire system. So that's just my point and I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching and let me know what your thoughts are.